All right, here we are, back at it again. Okay, look, your boy Pat is out this piece. <laughs> I um, I picked up the PlayStation VR two um in October. So let's see, when did I get the first one? And this is like, this is like my initial. All right, so the first time I brought it was September eighteenth, and the left controller. And I had an issue with the left controller. So I'm going in, right? And I'm like, like, yo, this this thing is um like yo, it's not working. So, you know, I'm, I'm charging it up, I'm like resetting it, I'm I'm checking YouTube. And uh and I'm heated, right? So I got it with the um Horizon Call of the Mountain bundle. Right, so I got it. It's like I said, that's the 18th, and you know, charging it up, getting everything ready, and now I'm doing research, and it's like, yo, they like, yo, it's a problem with the controller. So some of the units, so it's like, yo, come on, bro, here it is, uh, September, right? And this thing, I remember, Sony was trying to get me to get it. I was like, yo, you can buy it directly from us, and I'm like, uh, like, all right, you know, look, look, we can do that. But I'm like, nah, you feel me? Like, yo, Sony, yo, bro, Sony be on it. I ain't going to lie to you, right? So I'm like, eh, I'm going to pass on it, right? Boom. Fast forward. So I think it come out in February. I think it came out February, January or February. That was the issue on some of the units. And they already knew it. Like, yo, how come you didn't just pull it, right? And I don't even know what's going on. Here it is September. So I'm like, yo, I'm glad that I didn't get it from Sony because, like, yo, a lot of people was stuck with that broke version. And it's not like you can go buy the controller, right? So I'm heated. Like, yo, I'm flaming. And I'm like, yo, yo, this is trash, right? So I get, I take it back to Best Buy and I get the new one, right? I get a new bundle. And, uh, and boom, at that point, I'm like, yo this is fire right so so i just want to start off and say like because this this review it might get a little critical of sony but it's coming from a good place because i had the psvr1 the, the og right the first the first boy and uh and it was fire i loved it okay so boom fast forward we got the psvr2 after we get that one that works like yo i love it right so so for those of you who want to know okay what do you like yo do you like it what's going on yo i love it i i would give it um i would give it definitely give it a 10 out of 10 just for um for effort right but but honestly i would say that um i probably give it a like a eight or a nine out of ten right so let's just go through with um what do we have just kind of go through some key stuff now the look and the feel of it is is good like yo it feels good the um it's a few things that like i gotta be critical of when i'm inside of the headset and, and i'm just like just looking around i just want to either get into a pass-through mode right or i want to take it off like like i'm still it's not as intuitive to like yo this is where the button is so boom if you want to go to where you can uh pass through whatever that mode like there's a certain name for it so that is not easy like yo it's not as easy i'm trying I, like I, I always find myself like okay is it on is it on the right is it on the left is it on the top is it on the bottom right so that part like i feel like that design could be um better the setup the setup was a breeze like yo the setup was solid um it wasn't no real issue with the setup it was more just plug and play. I believe that the controllers were, had a little bit of juice in them. But like I said, that left controller was messed up. Now, I did some, like, the, the, the teardown. I looked at one of those teardown videos, and I could already see that uh, the problem was probably... It had to do with with the analog, right? Because it, it could see where you were in the game. Right, like if you move your hand, it could register that you was moving 
your hand. So as you moved it across the screen, you, you could move your hand. So that wasn't the problem. So all of the sensors that's inside of the round shape, that was there, right? It worked. Um, but the actual uh, analog sticks, the left analog stick, was it just didn't work in game. Now, it worked out of the game, right? Uh, in the menus, you could use it. It wasn't a problem. But in game, it wasn't even reading. And I, I think I had uh first game I started playing was No Man's Sky. So... I didn't know like this is my first time playing so i didn't know like yo this thing is bad so then i, I start going through other uh games and like yo nah this thing is messed up like i said i did my research so so the controller when it broke one you know it, it was like yo now we're on to the new one like i said setup was a breeze you just turn everything on it had some juice i got the cradle so the cradle i like it i like the cradle you just uh load up your controllers you put them on there, let it charge up, and boom, you're ready to go. Like, and I play. I I don't know how long I play at a time, but but I never really have an issue with the uh, with the with the with the controllers. Now, can you swap out batteries? No, it's a uh, it's a built-in battery. The controllers for me, I don't like the controllers. Like, um, I don't like it, and I know that I know that I'm alone right but the play and i understand the design right the playstation vr1 so the first iteration of vr1 that controller was a better controller so it had the move controller because as far as the as far as the um the i can't even think of the name like when you uh, get dizzy right i just can't <laughs> I just can't even think of what it's called. Motion sickness. It's called as far as motion sickness on the first PlayStation VR for me, right? For me personally, real. This is real talk. This isn't everyone is saying this. So let me just pattern my video after this and say what everybody else says during the same time, and YouTube can pick it up and know that okay, and, and get confused. So they don't know if they recommending whoever got a uh, hundred thousand subscribers versus somebody who has ten thousand, right? Like yo, f to BS, and and I'm definitely censoring my language because you know I, I just want this i want anybody to be able to listen to it anywhere and and you know you don't have to worry about who's listening and be like oh man who's that vulgar guy talking right but but the controller like yo this playstation psvr2 controller is trash like yo it is it's trash like yo the way it feel let me look i need to put this in my hand all right so like when you put it when, like when you put it in your hand it's awkward to even get in there like like so when you first put it it's like like a, it's like a little curve that you got to do to even get your hands through that um, round through the round part once you get in there all right boom now we're good right it, you it but just the curve of the curve of the controller because you got a finger on the trigger you got your thumb handling the face button so you got the um analog stick you got the analog stick you got um circle and x this is the right controller then you then below the analog stick you have the playstation button right and then to the right of that to the analog stick you have like uh you this is like a like a home type of button i'm guessing or a menu button right so so when when it's in your hand and you're holding it so you're gripping it um one finger is on is on like the r1 button and then your your trigger is like your um r2 right so when you holding it when you when you have it in your hand just the placement for your thumb like your thumb has to you have to readjust your hand to go down to that playstation button right let's say look i'm just trying to play a different game you gotta adjust and go all the way down like so your hand has to slide down right but this is it's it's a handheld so it's like you're taking your hand off of the controller momentarily to so that you can drop low enough to, to hit that playstation button right and then and like i said like yo it's just not intuitive right Th this stuff should it, sh it should just work 
when 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 you think about the uh psvr one controller yeah it, it didn't look it didn't look um it didn't look good and from a sense of the other controllers right they having these little round designs but i never spent a lot of time second guessing or or picking out the buttons like like once i looked at the control like when you got the controller in your hand and you look at it you visually know where everything is so then when it's time for you to to manipulate and to move around it's easy for you to do that whereas on the playstation uh vr2 like i'm constantly finding myself um having a look like i was playing um the horizon game just the other day and it was saying uh, hit r1 so i was doing r2 right so i'm so used to hit doing r2 but then i was i forgot even about r1 i'm like oh yeah man so then i had to use r1 and to use r1 and the um to use r1 the trigger and the analog at the same time it just like slides out of your hand like the control like this design is horrible this is a horrible design all right i know that you know people are telling you trying to tell you that this design is good and it's not it's just not and like sony sony really needs to to um let third parties like yo give up the um give up the technology and the patent really to and the ability so that third parties can make a, a better controller because this controller is not good like it's just not it's just not it, like it's okay right it's okay but it's really not a good controller and i feel like this is what causes the motion sickness is this controller because i didn't even get as much motion sickness when i used the um, psvr1 controller so and when i use the dual the uh, whatever you know the ps4 controller when um uh, like so resident evil 7 because i played the whole thing in resident evil 7 from beginning to end in vr right so you had to use the the regular controller the dual i think it's called the dual shot because you know you just get so the these names of the you know, freaking controllers right I can't even think of uh, what the PlayStation 5 controller is called, but but I want to say that the maybe the Dual Sense. I know one of them was a Dual Sense. Maybe that's a PlayStation 4. But but so I played the whole Resident Evil 7 in VR, no motion sickness, right? But now I'm playing um, uh, Hubris, right? I play that, and I play some other games. And we'll get you know we'll get to that because I'm going I'm definitely gonna be making more um, PlayStation VR two related content. So I'm playing those games and like yo even No Man's Sky like yo I just got severe motion sickness, right? And and I get it. The whole idea what, what causes the motion sickness for me is when the analog stick when the controller when the analog stick is moving faster so if you're trying to turn like let's say you're turning your head with the um analog stick if that turns faster than you turn your head naturally then that creates that sense of motion sickness so if you're walking straight and then you want to kind of uh, go right or you want to go left and you use that analog stick and if it if it moves faster than what you would turn it that's going to create a sense of motion sickness that's what that's what it is for me and I'm seeing that that that's consistent in all of the the games that I um, that I get motion sickness, but I never got that in the PlayStation VR one, right? Like there's a little I, I say like yo you got you got to get your cherry pop like yo you got to pop your cherry you got to pop your VR cherry. So after you do that, like after you pop your VR cherry, then you're good, right? But but with the PlayStation VR two like i'm consistently finding myself having like motion sickness and having to stop and like you know like just kind of recharge and revamp and just like rebuild myself so so the so the playstation vr the playstation vr2 controller for me is 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 definitely trash this is a this is a this is a horrible design you know but but it um 
I understand why why they have the rings, right? I understand the design because those rings has a whole bunch of sensors in it. And that's what uh, how it can tell like how much you're turning your hand, how much you're moving and just the turn and the rotation of your hand so it makes it better tracking, but the shape like just the curve like man this is trash. This really is trash. Um it's just not intuitive. Like it's not. It's just not intuitive. Like you really have to constantly and I found myself in games like yo I never like I'm never I'm never checking the controller and looking down at the controller. Like you feel me like yo I'm playing Devil May Cry 5 at a high level. Right? So like yo once you learn a controller scheme and and you really put yourself in that mode like yo you can't be looking. I play fighting games. So to play like a basic adventure game and now you got to look to see where your jump button or where your attack button is like, yo, that's that's bad. Like, that's bad. And this controller causes you to do that. And just this this L the L1 R1 like to hit that you can't really be you can't it's hard to hit L1 and R1. Or yeah, so R1 and R2, right? So we're just using the same controller. The trigger and that little button on the side. Like it's hard for you to hit that. And you know, so for you to hit both of those <clears throat> and um, control the analog stick, like that is really hard. And it shouldn't be. Like that, that shouldn't be hard. Like just, and that's because of the placement. That's the placement of it. And like, this is just a horrible design. So, so the controller, um, I'm going to give it a horrible design on that one. The eye tracking, phenomenal. Like, yo, eye tracking, this is like the stuff that just make you just get excited about VR, right? <clears throat> it is, it is like next level. I, I, I just want people to try it out to experience it for yourself if you haven't experience eye tracking like yo playstation 2 playstation vr 2's eye tracking is top notch like yo this thing is this thing is next level and and i just wish like just playing the um, ps vr 2 i just wish that um that microsoft had one and it's not because um it's not because i think microsoft could do it better or whatever it's just that PSVR 2 needs some type of co real competition. You know, they really need a, a need to be like, okay, we got to beat, we got to beat them. We got to, and, you know, consoles never really challenge PCs because it's just no way that you can do it. So all these other handhelds or these other um, headsets, these other virtual reality headsets, they're all connected to the computer so they're all like a little bit stronger like even the uh, quest 3 meta quest 3 it's like yo all right it's it's still kind of because it's can connect to a pc it gives it an advantage now it doesn't have eye tracking right so it doesn't have eye tracking um but but other than that it's like yo but it's connected to a pc whereas if xbox or nintendo had a vr set right if they did a xbox vr one so now playstation is like yo, sony is like yo all right yo we need to be better than uh xbox um next uh virtual reality headset you know so uh, i really feel like um like they would be driving the the they would be driving innovation with them being able to have someone to go up against right so but the eye tracking is fire the games is fire like yo like i like you know despite me being critical of the controller um overall like yo this thing is fire i highly recommend it to anybody and just like just like the future if you just think about the future of vr right it's like yo this thing is uh is is it's a it's moving in the right direction you know, like the, the PSVR 2 is moving in the right direction. I, I think, like, because uh, there's a drumming game. Um, I think it's 
it's not like Guitar Hero. Maybe it's like Air Drummer or something like that. I think it's that's Air Guitar. But there is um, there's a, some type of rock drumming game, right? And this is why I feel like the peripheral, like for the PlayStation VR two, they need peripherals, right? Like yo, there should be um, like maybe. You know how they have those lights that you can put on the back of your TV, and it creates the uh, the the amb- the ambiance, right? And it it does these color effects, and it can like pop the color out and do all of those type of things, like. But it's real flexible, right? They need that, like they need that, where you can you can like attach it to things because. Like playing that playing that drum game, I feel like yo, you really need some drumsticks. Like yo, playing it with the controller, nah, it's trash. I mean, it's okay. I can't say that it's trash. It's it's all right. The biggest problem is the tactical feel, right? Yo, if you had some real drumsticks that you was playing in a real drum set, like yo, that. Man, that game, because you're just talking about the immersion. Like, I have a, I have a racing rig in Grand Theft. Not, I keep saying Grand Theft Auto because I'm going to play Grand Theft Auto in VR um, and drive around, right? So not playing it in VR, but I'm going to use my wheel and, you know, and just drive around. So to drive, you know, when you have a real wheel in, like, like Gran Turismo 7, you got a real wheel and you're in there, like, yo, that's full immersion right and i feel like um like the air guitar game like that it was just hard because the only thing that makes it hard is the placement of the controller right but if you had if that thing worked with a with one of those um rock hero or guitar hero type of uh you know guitars oh my goodness like you talking about full immersion you feel me and that is the direction like yo that is the direction full immersion like yo these controllers are horrible like yo if you and you play the, that drumming game with these controllers horrible because you got to hold r2 and um r1 you got to do l2 right like you got to hold it and you want to throw it uh, throw up your sticks i mean you know like it's just horrible like yo this controller is is, is ass cheeks it really is you know and um but if you had some way to attach that sensor on some real drumstick so that this way your your psvr 2 could see it and now you know now your drumsticks are in the game or just make some drumsticks right and i get it from a from sony standpoint like yo, they can't make all of these peripherals right but but um uh, some company needs to be able to do it and i feel like yo like if they did that it would just it would take it to the next level like yo when you play um like any of those gun games you would like yo uh far point from the psvr1 that little gun peripheral like yo that thing was fire it just felt good right it just felt good and these controllers they just don't and uh so you know that's that's my big thing that's my big pet peeve with um with this whole thing so far really is the controller uh, is it pricey? Yeah, but no. Look, look, you got to get in there. Um, I, I missed out on Mario 64. When it first came out, when it first came out, I didn't get it. Like, I didn't play it. You know, I saw, like, pictures of it, and but I didn't experience it. So by the time I experienced Mario 64, I mean... I, I still haven't played it, right? But by the time I really was in a position to experience it, like all of the games that came out after it already came out, right? So you already got like Resident Evil 4 and you already got all this other stuff that came out after Mario 64. So it doesn't look as like great as it did when it first came out, right? Like I experienced Tomb Raider when it first came out and I promise you, like it was amazing despite the polygons and you know the sharp breasts and like yo it was amazing and in its day like when it first came out just the 
every now and then just the the music would just cue up and like yo just that 3d space and being able to flip and jump like yo it was amazing right and i bring that up because so now we're talking about the price it's like yo experience this in its day like yo experience playstation vr experience vr now like experience these early days of uh console vr experience it now while you can because you know i already know in like 10 years 10 years from now like this type of stuff is going to be like uh you 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 won't be able to go back and play it and be like yeah man this is good like if vr keeps progressing at the rate and just technology is progressing at the rate that it's progressing you know the the, the vr models 10 years from now is going to be like yo it's going to be mind blowing right so definitely uh do whatever it takes to to get you a um a playstation vr 2 or the meta or whatever like really get in there even get the playstation vr 1 right but experience the vr um in its day so like i i definitely recommend playstation vr um this is a playstation vr 2 review like i said i give it an 8 out of 10 i give it a 10 out of 10 just on effort alone just on like yo you know we gotta we gotta support this and make sure that it gets to where it needs to go right so we gotta buy it um i'm gonna be reviewing games and doing my reviews for uh for yeah, i got a whole bunch of psvr2 games and and i've been playing them right you, you already know that the controller this controller i hate this controller like this controller is horrible like yo i wish that um that the playstation vr1 controllers worked and i could just use that i would use it like i prefer the uh playstation vr1 controllers over this you know like like this this is horrible like this really is um i don't know what size hand this was made for you know like i don't know because they say you if you're 12 or under you shouldn't even be playing this so i don't know if this was made for like an eight-year-old's hand um i don't know i don't know whose hand this was made for but this damn sure wasn't made for my hand like yo like this this is just this is it's pathetic okay now the playstation controller feels good you feel me so like y'all know how to make a, a controller so this is it's no excuse right and the fact that that left controller was broke was messed up on launch like yo that's no yo, that's no excuse sony like i see if you just a you know this is just a startup company uh Ooglaba. Ooglaba is making the uh the vr is the Ooglaba vr set you know you get a messed up left controller that don't work all right okay but nah bro sony like yo sony used to mean so much like like that playstation 2 come on like yo that thing went through hell and high water the first playstation again like yo you talking about well-built products and now all of a sudden you got these shitty ass products like you know i'm not even going to talk about uh the playstation portal right so they know how to make good products so i, I can't take it easy on them right like yo you know how to do this you know how to do this so um the takeaways with this one is it's good please go get you one if you was on the fence and you made it this far get it like yo this is phenomenal even with the horrible controller <laughs> like like even with the horrible controller this thing is still kick ass like it really is like yo i i look I'm gonna I wanna buy a few of them because um like just having game night having a VR game night where you know the felt like yo this is like the old this is this thing is a really good just if your family's over um this thing is gonna is gonna provide so much fun for everyone right the homies come over you have you have four VR sets set up and y'all go play um, like the squadron game or y'all play any of those four player shooter games. Like, yo, this is the way, like it is so much fun. Like it really is. So um, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely get a, uh, if you're on the fence, you was thinking about it, you made it this far. Look, 
go get it like it'll get you a uh, playstation vr 2 get you a playstation vr 1 if you have to like yo get into this vr space all right and uh and that's that you know that's it we're going to be dropping some uh some more vr content as well and i ain't step away from the tekken so you know we definitely gonna be dropping tekken content as well so Reese's, p p p p p c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c c